In this video, I will answer the following questions. What Jamstack is? What are the benefits of using Jamstack? Or why should you use it? And how to get started with Jamstack? If we haven't met before, my name is Tuomo. I'm a web developer. And on this channel, I upload videos, tutorials, and all kinds of videos related to web development. If you are not already, make sure to hit that subscribe button below and let's get started with the video. So Jamstack. I first heard the term about six months ago and since then I've been studying it, building applications with it and I think I've gained a basic or pretty good understanding how to actually build websites using Jamstack. I actually just recently updated my own website and blog using Jamstack. I used to use WordPress, but uh, now it's running on Jamstack. The name Jamstack comes from JavaScript, APIs and markup. And it's an uh, architecture designed to make a web faster and more secure and easier to scale. So this is done by pre-rendering and decoupling. Frontend of Jamstack site is actually pre-built and pre-rendered at build time to a highly optimized static pages. These pages can then be delivered with a CDN and there is no need for a traditional dynamic web server. This makes the sites fast, cost efficient and very scalable. So in the case of a traditional web server, you have a client that talks to a web server and that web server talks to an app server and then that app server talks to a database or CMS. But with Jamstack you only have the client that's talking to the CDN and possibly some microservices. So what are the benefits of using Jamstack? Well, first of all, there is performance. In this day and age, the user's attention span is super short. If a web page has even a little bit of lag or the user needs to wait for the content more than like one or two seconds, you are risking of losing the user. This is not a problem with Jamstack, because Jamstack sites are static sites that are hosted on a CDN, which makes them super fast. Jamstack sites don't require the server to generate the site once a request hits the server. Because the site is pre-generated in build time, the server only needs to serve the static file. So we get super good performance without massive, expensive and complex server infrastructure. The second benefit is security. With Jamstack sites, the attack surface is quite small. Since we are just serving static pages and assets as pre-generated files, this allows a read-only hosting which reduces the attack sur surface even further. The next benefit is scalability. So if we are getting a huge traffic spike, we can just increase our CDN volume to handle the new traffic. So even if even a huge traffic spike, don't slow down the Jamstack sites. You also don't have to implement any uh, caching logic for your popular views or assets. Because Jamstack provides this by default if you are hosting your site in a CDN. Next, maintainability. Since Jamstack sites are hosted on a CDN, you pretty much don't have any server maintenance tasks. All the work is done in build time and after that you just need to serve the site from a CDN and you really don't need any server that might require updating or other maintenance. Portability. So Jamstack sites are pre-generated, making them easy to host. So you can use any kind of static hosting solution to host your site. And last, I want to mention developer experience. So developer experience with Jamstack is, in my opinion, top notch. With Jamstack, it's very fast and pleasant to work with and you can use wide variety of popular and modern tools and frameworks. This also guarantees that it shouldn't be too hard to find people that want to work with Jamstack. So how to get started with Jamstack? Well, first of all, I recommend using a site generator to get started with your first Jamstack site. I personally have used Next.js and Gatsby. Next.js offers a bit more functionality compared to Gatsby. 
with my limited experience with Next.js and Gatsby, I prefer Next.js. This is also what I use with my own website. So if you are familiar with JavaScript and React, I recommend going with Next.js. They have a great tutorial up on their website where you can actually build a blog. I will leave a link in, link in the description for that. Next.js also integrates nicely with Vercel, which is a place where you can host your uh, Next.js sites. So deploying your application is super effortless. So all in all, I think Jamstack is a great modern way of building websites. And I for sure will be using it in my future projects. If you want to get started with Jamstack, there is no better way to learn a new technology than to use it. So go ahead and create something with it, maybe a personal blog or a portfolio website for instance. Okay, that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please leave a like and also leave a comment if you have built something or plan to build something with Jamstack. I'll see you in the next video.